どうなんでしょうか。Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Before Will Smith transitioned from hip hop artist to sitcom star. Then from sitcom star to Hollywood A lister, snagging Oscar nominations for Ali and The Pursuit of Happiness. I, I don't believe you can do this. Uh, yeah, I can. No, 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 you can. Yes, I can. No, you can. I'm telling you, no one can. Before he proved he can actually solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute, something him and Justin Bieber have in common. Yeah! Whoa! I actually heard him and Justin Bieber are like BFFs. Will calls him all the time and he's like, just checking in on you, bud. Before Will Smith shacked up with hottie Jada Pinkett and fathered two young Hollywood stars, Willow and Jaden. Keep a smile, just keep a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Before his streak of summer blockbusters would include Independence Day, Men in Black, I Am Legend, and Suicide Squad, bringing this movie star's net worth to an estimated $260 million. Philadelphia born and raised, Will Smith had dreams of becoming a rapper. Despite his middle class academic family, he turned out a spot at MIT in favor of producing music with his best friend and collaborator, DJ Jazzy Jeff. And by the time they were 18, well, the two had made it big. Will was a millionaire, but the Fresh Prince was spending it as quick as he was making it. By the time he was 20, the IRS was hot on his trail, and he was also facing charges of assault after an altercation between a security guard and a record producer landed Will in the slammer. Yeah. Who knew? What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCrud, documenting the life of Will Smith prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now this video has been a long time coming and I'm happy we're finally getting it done, but some of you had some borderline panic attacks that I hadn't already done it. Sorry, we get so many suggestions, which is a fantastic thing because we can keep this party going for another few years. There's just so many of you. As always, be sure to let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. Smith was born Willard Carroll Smith Jr. on September 25th, 1968 and did indeed grow up in West Philadelphia. His father, Willard Sr., was a fridge engineer and his mother, Caroline, was an administrator on the Philly school board. Little Will, well he was raised Baptist along with his older sister, Pamela, and younger twin siblings, Harry and Ellen. They grew up comfortably in their middle class home in a very multicultural neighborhood. They all went to Our Lady of Lords, a private Catholic elementary school. The teachers there could be extremely strict, but Will found that his quick wit and humor were able to get him out of hot water all the time. His ability to charm his way out of trouble earned him the nickname of being Prince. Which is actually really funny. I mean, I did the exact same thing when I was in school, but they named me Little Shit instead. Hmm, I must not have the ears. Your ears stick out so much, I could use them as antennas, connect to the Wi-Fi in my mom's house back in Australia. When he was 12, Will became more and more interested in the emerging rap movement sweeping the country. He looked up to trailblazers like Grandmaster Flash and started rapping himself. He then went to Overbrook High School in 1981, but things were looking shaky between mom and dad. The two separated when he was 13. Well, at a party when he was 16, Will hit it off with the DJ. That guy's name was Jeff Towns. The two formed a rap duo with Will as the MC and Jeff as producer, and the two became DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. DJ Jazzy Jeff. There it is. Said it weird. You know, everybody said, oh, he, he can mix behind his back and he can pick the turntable up and bend the record and scratch it and it still doesn't skip and every, but Jazzy Jeff, Jazzy Jeff. As high school came to a close, Will wanted to focus on becoming a rapper and had no intention of continuing his post-secondary studies. This couldn't have made his mom very proud, who had just landed him a spot on the MIT pre-engineering program by pulling some strings with the school board. But Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, they started pumping out family-friendly humorous songs. And the contrast to the emerging gangster rap of the West West Coast made their music a safe and highly marketable alternative. And all of a sudden, the boys were making bank. 1986 hits like Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble paved the way for their debut album, Rock the House, which made it on the Billboard 200 and made Jazzy Jeff and the Prince millionaires. They graduated high school and continued to build up their massive fan base, which skyrocketed when their album, He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper, sagged the first ever rap Grammy in 1988. Air Will began picking up work as an actor. His first appearance was as a t-shirt salesman on an ABC after school special. Speaking of his early 
early work, Will stated that he was absolutely terrible. He would memorize the entire script and then on camera you would see him lipping everyone else's lines when they were talking. Although I couldn't find a clip of him acting on this show, I did find him rapping. So let's take a look. This is about Will felt about his performance, television execs saw potential, and opportunity came for Will just when he needed it the most. The Fresh Prince had been raking in some big bucks over the last two years, but he was spending it as quickly as he was making it. Unfortunately, there's a little thing called income tax, and Big Willie missed the mark by $2.8 million according to the IRS. They seized a bunch of his possessions and took the rest of his income. By the time 1990 rolled around, Will was almost bankrupt. On top of this, his squeaky clean image was in jeopardy with him facing charges of aggravated assault, criminal conspiracy, and for reckless endangering of another person. Apparently, Will's security guard nearly blinded a record promoter by the name of William Hendricks after the man was relentlessly annoying Will. Following the assault, the man needed six stitches and his left eye orbit was fractured. Will was held in prison overnight and released and eventually the charges were dropped. He did end up with a mugshot though which is never a good look. With him fresh out of money and the risk of everything being over, he took a gig as a leading man on NBC's sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Will would later reveal that when he signed on to do the show, he wasn't that enthused. It was a project he didn't want to take, he just needed the money. But I'm sure that changed because the show was fantastic. It still is today. <laughs> the show was an instant success and proved Will was not only a competent actor, but a hilarious one too. The show ran for six seasons and they rolled out 148 episodes. He became real life best friends with his co star, Alfonso Ribeiro, and they even made a part for his DJ, Jazzy Jeff. But it wasn't all fun and games. Ah! <laughs> Will was forced to pay the IRS 70% of his salary over the first three seasons. Soon Hollywood wanted to see if Smith was a bankable actor and he landed his first big role in the drama Six Degrees of Separation. Unfortunately it wasn't a huge success but critics praised his performance. Luckily his next role proved that Will could transition to the big screen just fine. Hey freeze bitch! You freeze bitch! Oh shit. Bad Boys became a massive commercial success and solidified Will Smith as a strong leading man. It set him on the path of becoming one of the biggest movie stars today. And well, the rest of the story, you know the story because this is before they're famous. 